I'm going to show you guys the top five reasons the L22 Starling in GTA 5 Online is better than its real life counterpart, the Messerschmitt ME163 Comet. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey, you guys, they my wackle made. All these simps always talking shit. The L22 Starling was based on the Messerschmitt ME163 Comet. It was primarily operated during World War II by the Luftwaffe, which held its allegiance to Adolf Hitler. Its first flight took place on September 1st, 1941, and it became operational in war in 1944. The Messerschmitt ME163 Comet is a German rocket-powered interceptor aircraft designed by Alexander Lepisch. It is the only rocket-powered fighter aircraft ever to have been operated and the first piloted aircraft of any type to exceed 1,000 kilometers an hour or 621 miles per hour in level flight. At the time, there was simply nothing else as unique as the Comet or that performed as well. There were over 300 Comets built, but due to many different reasons, they only ended up destroying between 9 and 18 Allied aircraft during the course of the war. Now that you guys have a little bit of background information about the aircraft that the L-22 Starling is based on, I'm going to show you guys the top Top five reasons the L22 Starling is better than its real life counterpart. Number five, the L22 Starling is much better at taking off and landing than its real life counterpart. You just hit your boosters and you go. And whenever you land, it's pretty simple as well. Sometimes it can catch a little bit of air and bounce around as you're trying to land, but that's also what happens to the real life version of it. The Messerschmitt ME163 Comet had a lot of issues trying to take off. They had to worry about all sorts of things because of the volatile nature of the propellant used in the ME-163 Comet, there was a huge chance that the thing could just explode on the runway, or because it's accelerating at such a high speed, the aircraft may just fall apart. It even had to have specially designed wheels that would fall off as it took off. They called them a dolly unit. So of course, since it jettisoned its wheels, it had to have a landing skid to actually land, which meant that once it did land, it could not taxi itself on the runway, so they had to use agriculture vehicles to actually come and tow the vehicle back to the hangars to resupply and refuel them. Number four. The L-22 Starling in GTA 5 Online cost a lot less money to design and test than its real life counterpart. Also, a lot of people died testing the Messerschmitt 163 Comet. It simply was not a safe aircraft, especially during development. Number three. The L-22 Starling in GTA 5 Online has unlimited range. Yes, the boost will run out, but it recharges, so then you can carry on using it. The ME-163 Comet, however, only had a certain amount of fuel, and it burned through it very quickly. So after an attack, most of the time they would just have to glide back to their landing zone, which left them very vulnerable. Number 2. The L-22 Starling is one of the best dogfighters in GTA 5 Online. It is one of the harder aircraft to actually master. However, once someone actually gets good in it, there's not too much that can take out a Starling. Its guns can be very accurate and effective for taking out other aircraft, such as tryhards and jets, or jet griefers. You can even shoot people out of the cockpits, whereas the Comet had to stay at very high speeds when intercepting other aircraft. Its guns just didn't hit their targets very often. It was equipped with two 30mm MK-108 cannons, which had a relatively low muzzle velocity of 540 meters per second and were accurate only at short range, making it almost impossible to hit a slow-moving bomber. And they couldn't stay in the air very long, so they only had a couple chances to actually land their shots. Number 1. Rockstar Games created the L-22 Starling with the intended goal of entertaining millions of people across the globe. People have spent countless hours flying it, killing griefers, killing tryhards, and being the heroes to the citizens of Los Santos using the L-22 Starling. There are hours and hours of fun to be had in the comfort of your own home while flying the Starling. You're not hurting anybody by shooting down jets with it. You're not killing anybody. You're just literally having fun as Rockstar intended. And by all measures, Rockstar was very successful with the design and implementation of this particular aircraft in the GTA 5 Online. Now, 
Now, if you look at Germany's Comet, it wasn't even good at what it was designed to do. It was designed to take out enemy aircraft. Due to its high speeds, it was very hard for the Allies to actually shoot down the Comet. However, also due to the high speed, the Comet had a very, very, very hard time actually hitting their targets. And its speed was only effective at keeping it from getting shot down while it still had its rocket boost, which didn't last for very long. And the Allies found out about that, and they would try to attack it as it was gliding back to its landing. And if they did manage to land, they were sitting ducks because they couldn't even taxi themselves. They had to wait for a very slow agriculture vehicle to tow them back. And the Allies knew this, so they would try to bomb them while they were actually on the airstrip. And if all of that wasn't bad enough, the comments were very, very fuel hungry during a time of the war where Germany just didn't have that much fuel. So a lot of them ended up just sitting on the runways and not being used because they simply didn't have the fuel to put in them. So even though the Comet was definitely a groundbreaking aircraft at that point in time, overall, it was a failure. Hope you guys enjoyed that top five. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you didn't, let me know also. Maybe I'll do some more of these in the future. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day. Peace. Bull, bull, bull. There's one cent in the